my name is Ana Delgado Sanchez and I'm the training intern. The reason why I applied um, to this internship was that um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go into the field of human rights, but I wanted to see the practice rather than just the theory. We offer a variety of internships at ISHR. Um, predominantly it's the uh, UN monitoring team, so interns go and monitor the work of the UN mechanisms. Uh, we also offer internship with the training team. Uh, we run three or four training courses a year, also outside of Geneva, and one for the communications team, uh, one for the regional and national team, and also one for the fundraising team at times. My name is Jeremy Arthur. I work for ISHR as a UN monitoring intern since April 2010. Working for the monitoring team, um, a lot of times where we tag along so with the UN system, so if there's something going on in session, like a treaty body, it could be a very busy day, and that can require going to a session uh, at the UN and then coming back and doing writing up a report for it. Um, it could also just require listening in on what diplomats are saying, what countries are saying, and making sure we're following that. The most rewarding aspect of this internship, well, I could actually name two. Um, one of them would be to see, I mean, seeing my work published, um, because everything that, I mean, you observe the council sessions or any other meetings, um, later on you produce news pieces. So seeing them either an, on ISHR website or at the Human Rights Monitor quarterly is, is really rewarding. and. And you know, you see that the work that you did, um, you know, makes um, some impact uh, for the work of ISHR. Oh well, uh, my first time in the morning when I arrived here, I was just surprised because everybody uh, welcomed me like I was already here by the time that we know each other, uh, one another. It was very amazing, and uh, it helped me to be more confident in what I'm doing. Um, I think that we're, what I like about ISHR, I should say, is that we're expected to do a lot of the work that the officers are expected to do. And in many ways, we're treated like that, and given, and given that respect and that uh, latitude. Uh, to be an intern here, you have to be extremely motivated, you have to be ambitious, uh, you have to be willing to work hard. I think the, the most important thing that uh, I, 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 I think from here is the professional environment. Is the way I, I, every day I see people working, the way people give themselves to their work. Um, it's a great city. It's cozy, it's clean. Um, and obviously, if you're into international diplomacy or human rights, it's uh, quite a mecca for that. And my favorite thing, I guess, is lake. Um, because it's really nice to just hang out around there, go for a swim, even lunchtime. Uh, well, I'm leaving in two weeks, and I will be returning to uni to finish my degree. Uh, and hopefully afterwards, do a conversion course and uh, going to international law. I give myself to that, and I, I used to say in French, you have a, a, a word to say, sacerdos, it's for the, the prayers, for the, the, the priests. But I think to be a, a, a human rights defender, it's like a sacerdos, it's like you give your life for it. You would like it, you have to do it because you cannot come. It's not only for a job. Uh, I think after here, I hope I will be ready for an, uh, a new challenge in my life. Yes. I think that it has really broadened my horizons, not just because it has given me a lot of international experience, but also because I've made a lot of new connections, which will hopefully open a lot of doors for me in the future. Other interns have gone on to work for NGOs. We have um, one who wor is working for Age Concern in London at the moment and who has used her internship in the training skills that she developed with us uh, to go on to train on human rights um, within her organisation. Um, others have actually been fortunate enough to get a uh, position in a UN agency 
my plan after this internship is to gain field work experience. So I will be going to India, uh, where I'll be working with human rights NGO and conducting research related with prison reforms program. So I am very, very excited about that. And I feel that my time at ISHR has equipped me with uh, knowledge and diverse range of skills that have been very useful for me. And I am truly grateful for that. Um, I would strongly recommend ISHR as the first point of call for all young people interested in getting into human rights.